When I was in elementary school, we had an annual sports day. Girls did things like hopscotch and jump rope. The boys got to do high jumping. That's what I wanted to do, high jumping. I went to sign up. Girls don't do high jumping, the coach said. I liked high jumping in the backyard with my five brothers. We had been high jumping for years. I went home and I told my mother what the coach said. My mother said, I think we should go to visit him. Visit who, I asked. The principal. Visit the principal? I was terrified. Would I get in trouble? Would my mother and I be crossing boundaries we shouldn't cross? My mom and I went to Mr. White's office. Linda wants to do the high jump, my mother said. Mrs. Martinez, you don't understand. This is the tradition of our annual sports day, he said. But Mr. White, I don't know where it says that girls cannot do this. The principal couldn't find any rules that said girls couldn't do the high jump. I have to think about this, he said at last. When we got home, my mom told me that this wasn't just about me. Maybe other girls want to do this too, she said. My mother waited a week and then she walked over to the school. Mr. White, please, I ask you this not for me and not for Linda, but let's just see how it works. In the end, Mr. White agreed. I won the high jumping contest. My mother was right. It wasn't about me. It was about making people think about what girls could do. High jumping helped me to understand that people would not always accept or welcome me. I used this lesson in my career as a building contractor. Just as girls did not do the high jump, women did not construct buildings. When I first started in business, my mother would say to me, my dear little one, start small, but think big. I found small ways to begin to show what I could do. Today my company, Alvarado Construction, builds a lot of buildings. I love my job. I took the path least traveled by girls and women, and this has really made a difference.